Oh, I've had a crazy week. I just got back from work and, uh, well, my hair's, you can probably see my hair's still wet. I had to go straight back out because um, normally I go gym but at seven o'clock, but I've got to get to my girlfriend's for six this time. And I, I finished work <laughs> at five and the gym's 45 minutes away. So I worked that out like a, a bomb at home, quick 15 minutes, grab my stuff, have a shower. I haven't eaten yet. I mean, I've got an apple somewhere uh, and had a protein shake. That, you should have more than that before training. Uh, don't recommend my diet right now. And more sleep as well, that helps more than anything. <laughs> Eat and sleep, that is the, the main two keys to performance. As if you're taking performance recommendations from me, the world's best tricker, Leo Pharmacy. <laughs> Oh yeah, so why my, why my week was crazy so far, I, um, so I got back from Oslo a week ago, uh, two weeks ago in fairness, it was two weeks, so the last two weeks were a bit crazy. So I got back from Oslo, three o'clock, had nowhere to park outside my own house, because the main road outside my house is a, uh, a permit only, so it would be a £70 fine if I parked outside my own house. So I've got to park on a street off the side of it. And that was at three o'clock in the morning for some reason. It was all f full. I was fucked. I didn't know where to park. I was falling asleep on the way home because I had to drive back from London. Um, so all I cared about was getting to bed because I was falling asleep at the wheel. So I did the smart decision, <laughs> the smart decision to park <laughs> halfway across the junction. <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna move it in the morning, but I didn't actually wake up until like one, two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I don't know why I'm saying all this. Because I haven't said what happened to it yet. I woke up in the morning and it was gone. My car wasn't there anymore. It had been towed by the police um, 30 miles away and I had no car for the day. And I, I couldn't call the, the officer because his phone landline wasn't working and he was off shift in five minutes anyway. So then I had to wait till the next day to go get my car and pay almost 200 pounds to get it back out. <laughs> so that's my, my lesson learned. Park outside my own house and get a 70 pound fine next time because that's cheaper. Don't take any advice from me. I'm not the person to listen to. <laughs> but I got my car back, that's all that matters. That's fine. But actually, that is another thing because I left all my camera equipment from Oslo because uh, in my car because I was too tired to get it out. And I was planning that day after Oslo because I booked off work to edit the whole day, get all the videos done. And that didn't happen because all my stuff was in a, in a, in a car in a different uh, town. <laughs> And I still haven't actually got the second video out to the point of making this video, but I probably would have by the time I post this video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but my uh, yeah, my neck's been playing up recently. I might have slept on it funny, or when I twist, I like throw my head to. The There's something wrong with me. There's, some, there's something wrong with me. I throw my head to the side it's a bit too much sometimes. Or it's when I edit, I'm sat there like that, that meme, like that. And I'm sat like that for like four hours straight. That could be a part of it. Or it could be all of them combined. That would make more sense as well. So we're gonna go to the session. I've got a few things I have with me to fix it, like a massage gun. A trigger point ball, it's just a golf ball that isn't big enough, but I'll give it a go. Uh, just to see if I can loosen up my neck and do a few things. Because I did stuff on Tuesday, two days ago. Uh, and that was when it was worse than it was now. So I can still do stuff, it just hurts a lot. Yeah, it's like the back of my neck, the back left side of my neck. I think it's not smart to rest too much if you can do stuff it's best to kind of do what you can find the lines you know there might be some tricks that i can do 
still and some tricks that obviously can't but that means I can still do stuff and that's gonna make me heal faster along with good sleep and good eating but it's carrying on moving uh, is the key having too much of a rest is it's not resting really if you're if you got a how do you say it? a sedentary sedentary lifestyle is more of a class as more of a disease because humans aren't meant to just sit around sit still because if you think about it back in the day what a human lay in bed all day in a cave you know if they did that they're dying the next day that's it they're gone but we can get away with it because we got things a lot easier now we got McDonald's we can order that to your bed watch Instagram reels all night. I've never done that before. No, I actually haven't ordered McDonald's to my house ever. But I have gone on Instagram reels for hours straight after work sometimes. It's a bad, it's a bad loop. Be watching like the worst possible things mixed with like a random cat video. It's great. It's really not, I want to delete Instagram but then I won't know if there's any gatherings going on and I won't be able to talk to my mates well I will because if they're really my mates they'll have my phone number <laughs> sounds like I'm going like 100 miles an hour and I only just made it up to 70 with it in 20 seconds then. Yeah, I think I'll catch you at the gym. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes. So a little side quest, I've got Kojo's hat. Need to give it back to him. Kojo, I have your hat. Oh, you got my cat. Ah. This is my cat, you know. Oh, we just robbed it. We just robbed it. I robbed it from him. <laughs> oh, that's nice. What is that? We're working on a GMF Damn. Okay, don't, don't talk to this person if you come to the gym. She's just full of bad looks. She'll stare at you from across the room. <laughs> Judging me for massaging my neck, and I haven't even done it yet. She's called me a weirdo. Stranger danger. You've known me for like three, four years. I'm not. I'm not a stranger. As long as I can get my neck loose. Oh my god. My eyes are vibrating. <laughs> oh, as long as I can get my neck loose, I should be alright for the session. I break my mic. I normally like to warm up with clothes on, even if it is really hot. Because then, oh my god, I probably won't even put these kicks in, they're that bad. Gets you feeling loose when you're really warm, and then I strip off. I always think my kicks look so much better than when I watch them back. They look so bad when I watch them back. I'm so stiff as well, I think I'm like loose. I'm like the stiffest human ever. You know what, my neck is feeling a bit better, so I think massage guns are the way to go. They are the way to go. You can kind of trigger point with massage guns, so you don't always need a trigger point ball because you can just put the pressure on, hold it on that one spot. Probably does it a bit better. Me being the worst example, chocolate bar. I'm meant to be healing my neck and I'm eating chocolate bars. I had a nightmare last night that I couldn't cork anymore. Like, you had a nightmare yeah. you couldn't cork? Yeah, like when I was going for the J step and trying to jump, I just couldn't get any height. Cork right now for the vlog. <laughs> and you got to do it in that second lane for the vlog. Come on. Come on, Gino. Go. Yeah! <laughs> it's not a nightmare, you can cork. It's sort of lifted. Alright, that hurt my neck a little bit. I'm like trying to do tricks without... It's like I've got to do it without spotting because then I end up going like that. I have to like keep my head still. That's one of the most important parts of the... Yeah. And I've just got to train bad technique a little bit. So I've been massaging the shit out of my neck for like the last five minutes. I haven't been filming it, but... And I've been doing tricks, but oh my god, like it's not changing. So I'm just gonna push for it, and we'll see tomorrow if it's uh, a mistake I made or not. We're gonna push through the pain now. Oh god. Uh... 
Right, I don't know if we're going to be able to leave my fucking mic on, but we'll see. And it hits me in the face. <laughs> gainers are more painful than corks. Maybe no gainers. That hurts less. Recently started doing, um, what's it called, like a skip step rather than a J step. So much better. And it looks less stupid as well. I think I look so stupid doing a J step. I look so dumb. Wait, look at my J-step compared to my hot step. I just look stupid from the back, I think. Sorry, that looks stupid. I can't hold the mic and trick, it smacks me in the face. Whoa! Thinking about blocking my hips more, because I keep swinging like that, I need to swing forward. So there's a few things I want to work on, it's like, Getting my toe pointing in that corner. At the moment, it's pointing straight, so I'm J stepping, my foot's going straight. I want it to point over there because then it will help me block my hips. At the moment, they're turning too much like this. If I can block my hips, that's perfect for double cork, should be possible. Taking the mic off. Goodbye. Gino's best 540, come on. Right, this other thing I do, I just land however I land. I keep just <coughs> retardedly. I need to land gently, like one, two. Because I'm going to end up hurting myself just from my shit landings. So that's, that's what this attempt's going to be. You didn't hear me, I said that was nice. I like that one. <laughs> Shot right through my neck. What's Gino doing? Let's see. Ooh, side swiping. Nice. Right, I'm getting close to fixing it now, but my ankle is getting close to ending, so I'm gonna give it a few more tries. I might have to move on to a different trick. Then it'll be a little bit more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Coach just goes, yes, Louie, doing progressions, not just sending it. That is so true. I, uh, that's why you get injured, and that's why I got injured. I just send shit. <laughs> it's so dumb. The pain hasn't stopped, but I've just carried on. If you guys have these things where you like do something before you go, like if you like move a sock, I always do that. I always move a sock up. But also like always look at a spot that I want to do in the combo. So that, I want to know what what random things you do for your trick because we all got Tourette's. Admit it. All right, I'm gonna move on for your sake. Yes, Lou, nice. <laughs> nice. Liv says I gotta do it now. <laughs> I'll give it one little send. That was actually good though. Ah, uh, that didn't hurt too much, apart from my neck. The Sarge is back. I'm gonna give my best attempt of doing some nice kicks. I shouldn't be training, but I can still do stuff without crying. Okay. <laughs> I'm not crying yet, right? Right? Just go into your car, take a yeah, I'm gonna... and then come back. I'll be back, hold on. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna carry on, but I wanna stop at the same time. The whole rest of my body is fine. It's literally just my neck. Like I fixed my knee and now it's just my neck. Oh. Alright, basic kicks, basic kicks. I'll keep to the basic kicks. No inversion. No inversion. That I'll try that first and then I'll give up. Right, I'm going back to stretching, to be honest. Like I'm done. I'm done. I've done enough. I've done enough. I actually did just do the outro, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to give you a little pep talk in my session because uh, I think there's cases where you should train when you're injured because you can. Everyone knows it. You can work around it, but no one chooses to. And then when you come back to being able to do full tricks again, you know you're still in the flow. You got the the feel of it still, rather than you know you you go to the normal gym, do weights instead, or do nothing. That's the worst thing you can do. You don't want to do nothing. Um, yeah, like my 540s are only good because I injured my left ankle and I could only do 540s and like rat falls, rat fall hypers. And those would turn out really good. 
and then when I injure my right leg, then I can get really good with my left side. And then when I injure my neck, I could do just corks apparently. It still hurts, but you know, I can, I can push through it a little bit. But when it's hurting every single time and it's building up, it's not worth it. It's better to just uh, call it quits, have a little rest and then come back to it again, try again. But let me know what you think. I know there's going to be conflicting opinions. Uh, I'm fine with that. Uh, so I'll catch you in the next one. I'll do a proper outro this time. Let me know if you like this kind of video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.